about to set up a trucker's hitch to put up a shelter. So I've got a tarp, it's laying on the ground here beside me, if you can look at that. And I'm gonna put it down there initially because it is kind of sprinkling right now. And if I were actually going to build a shelter here, I'd wanna to try to keep the ground underneath that tarp and that shelter as dry as possible while I'm building the shelter. So I've got the tarp spread out behind me. And the first thing I'm gonna do is put a bowl in around this tree. And I'm gonna make a lean-to type shelter in this example. It's not usually my favorite, but it'll work better for our example today. So to do a bowl in around the tree, come on in. First thing I'm going to do is make sure I've got a tail large enough to go around the tree. So I put my running end or my working end around there. And I'm going to put it up um, pretty much about chin level right now because of the type of shelter I'm doing. Now what I'm going to do is leave that tail alone for a moment and I'm going to make an underhand loop so the running end is going this way around the tree. I'm going to push a bite of the body up through it like so. Bring that tail, the running end around, working end. Put it back inside that very that very loose running loop that I just made and then I'm going to collapse it down until it pops through and just formed a bowl in for me. Okay? So that's good to go. Now I'm going to come over to the other side of the tree over here and I'll oh, worry about some sticks later. And come over here, go at about the same level, so about my chin. Wrap it around the tree and I'm going to come out, especially this distance here is probably about 10 feet or so between these trees. So I'm going to come out, that means I've got a fair amount of distance I can make up here. This line stretches a lot. So I'm going to go out about a foot, maybe a foot and a half away from the tree and I'm going to make a slip loop. Okay. So the first one over there was a running loop because the body was the part that slipped. In this case it's the working end or the running end that's going to slip. So I'm going to make an overhand this time with the running end or the working end on top and push a bite of that working end through that loop I just made. And this makes a slip loop. I'm gonna filter, filter it down a little smaller, doesn't need to be huge. Part of why I like to use a slip loop here is how easily it comes in down, undone afterwards. And I'll show you that when we're finished and when we take this down. So now I've got the slip loop here. I'm gonna take the running end that I just put around the tree and put it back through that loop. And now I can crank. And if you can come in real close on this one here and show on this side. So now I've got this nice and tight, and I mean really tight, right? And now the knot here, I'm gonna pinch, it's called a halter hitch. I'm simply gonna pinch, make a bite out of the working end, come around and back inside the loop it just made. And then pull up against this, try not to lose any of that tension. You probably saw me lose just a little bit. Now I've got a loop here. And all I have to do is pull on this and the whole knot would, the whole thing will come undone. To prevent that, if I want, let's say I want to use the rest of this for something else or I want to attach something to this loop. If I try to do that right now, this is going to slide, it's going to slip. Maybe I don't want that. So what I can do is make an underhand loop like so and pass it over top of the bite of the hitch and cinch that down. Now I can yank on this and I can yank on this and use them for something else, hang things off it, use this maybe to, if I lengthen it, I can use to stake out another line or maybe attach something to close off the side of the shelter. I can do all kinds of things with it once I put that safety on. And this safety is a little different than most of the ones I've seen on YouTube and such so far. Usually they say go through this loop, but that's really not effective for much of anything other than keeping it from coming undone and then the whole thing becomes more difficult to undo later. So for doing a shelter in particular, this is the trucker hitch. Ta-da! This is how you can do it, right? This is it. Now let's say I'm going to attach that tarp to it though. So um, before I tighten this up completely, I would loosen this, keep it nice and loose, tie the truckers just to keep it kind of there so it's not going to come undone from the tree. But the wind is going really strong or whatever, I want to attach this tarp to this line. And the way I'm going to do that is to grab a couple of sticks about thumb size or so in diameter, like so. And I'm gonna make just a slightly modified lean-to. So I'm gonna choose this grommet right here, just one down from the very edge. And this means I'll have a small flap on the other side of my ridge line. I consider this my main line or my ridge line for my shelter. So I'm gonna take that grommet, come closer to this tree. I'm gonna take a bite of my main line and push it through the grommet like so. Then I just put a stick in and tighten that down. Now this keeps this anchored so it can't slide on the line. It'll be stuck right there. It can't push in, it can't pull out. That's where I want it, that's where it's gonna stay. 
So now I'm going to go under, I'm going to come to this other side, grab my tarp, and do the same thing on this side. I'm going to get the same grommet. So one down, and you can see that along, along the whole length. Make my bite again, and this is why I loosened up that trucker stitch. Put that in my grommet until it pops through, like so. Take my thumb size stick, place that in there, and pull that tight. And so now I can simply roll this. I don't want it too tight because the line's going to tighten up as it is, but I can roll this to actually make this tighter or looser. So now I'm going to go back up, undo the loose halter hitch that I had up there to finish off my trucker stitch. So now I can tighten it again. Now I can get this really nice and tight again and redo my halter hitch. So again, I've got this. I'm going to pinch firmly because boy does it want to come undone. I want to keep that tension. Make a bite, go around the tight side and pull back to where my fingers are pinching off and I can let go. So this is a friction, it's a hitch so it works on friction. The thing that's going around, all hitches go around something, is the, the slip loop or in this case the running loop that I made. Narrow that back down, make my safety an underhand and put it over the top. And we're good to go.